Hi everyone, it's Cyberla Rose, and today is Wednesday on the Queen Chat. This week's topic was chosen by me, and I asked all of the girls to reintroduce themselves. Not only because of the new year, but because, you know, the channel itself has gone through a lot of growth in the past year between losing cast members, gaining cast members, gaining subscribers, and so on and so forth. So I thought it would be a really great idea for all of us to go ahead and tell you who we are. Um, <laughs> unlike Miss Victoria, I don't always talk about myself a lot. Um, whether this is a good or bad thing, I feel like I'm a pretty simple person. Um, I can describe things I like and dislike fairly quickly. Um, but just, I'll, I'll give you the general gist of who Cyber or Andrew is. Um, I'm 19 years old, I live in Michigan, and I have been doing drag for... Drag itself I've been doing for a about a year. I would say the best guesstimation I can make is a year. But I've had an is interest in makeup for about four years, and this interest came from RuPaul's Drag Race. I am... 100% not ashamed to admit that I am definitely a Drag Race baby. Um, I happened upon season one four years ago. On a whim, I was... Um, <laughs> actually, I have a pretty funny story about this. I was just kind of flipping through the channels, and I saw the name RuPaul on one of the channels, which happened to be Logo. And... Um, I was thinking, I was like, that name sounds really familiar. Where do I know that name from? And actually, my name is Andrew Paul. And my mother used to actually call me RuPaul. She, I know she knew about RuPaul the Drag Queen, but whether or not that was related, now it is. Um, it, it's true. And I happened to click on it, and it was, I want to say it was like the second to the last or third to the last episode. It was... I know Nina Flowers was in it, I know BB was in it, I know Rebecca was in it, um, there might have been a couple of other girls. I want to say it was, um, Chanel's lip sync to, I think, did Chanel only do one lip sync? I think she only did one lip sync, I don't remember. But it was her Medusa costume. That was the episode that I had seen, and I watched it all the way through, and then it was a complete marathon. I watched the next episode, and the next episode, and the next episode, and then they had the season from the start. I seriously stayed up all night watching this show, maybe like 10 hours straight, and, well, I, re I ended up recording it. Um, most of it I didn't stay up for, but <laughs> the main idea is that I got hooked instantly, and from that point on, I kind of started getting a real interest in makeup, and through YouTube and its makeup gurus in RuPaul's Drag Race, I found that I really enjoyed makeup artistry as a whole. And eventually, after a couple of seasons of Drag Race, I thought, hey, um, why don't I give this a shot? And I did, and I enjoyed it. Um, at the moment, it's really just kind of a pastime for me, a hobby. I really love to use it as my main creative outlet. And what I really enjoy about drag is that it has no boundaries, and it allows me to be whatsoever I want to be when I want to be it. Um, and it also, honestly, is a big confidence booster for me. When I am cyber, um, my insecurities kind of go away. I feel more bold than I would as Andrew. I love video games. Uh, I am a huge nerd. Um, my favorite video game genres would have to be MMORPG and horror. <laughs> and puzzle. Those are kind of my three main ones. I love, like, World of Warcraft, Rift, um, played Terraria for a while, which is, like, it's very similar to Minecraft, but it's 2D rather than 3D. Um, I love Silent Hill and Rule of Rose, and... I love Professor Layton and um, Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest, one of those, whichever ones. I think both. I've played both. I like both. 
Um, especially the Dragon Warrior Monsters games. Those are good games. Especially the Game Boy Color ones were my favorite, some of my favorite childhood games. Oh, and I love Pokemon. Pokemon, hands down, is the shit since 93. Love that. I was born in 93. I don't know what it was like in 93, but it came out in, what, 94? I'm full of shit. <laughs> um, yeah. I am going to be going to school in, actually, a couple of weeks I start school, which is insane. I am freaking, I am a mix of freaking out and really excited about going to school. Thursday, I'm going to go get my textbooks and stuff if I need any. I don't know whether or not I need any yet, but um, I have a career coach at Goodwill where I work who um, is helping me through all of this. Um, she's kind of going along for the ride with me, and I very much appreciate that. So Thursday, I'm going to be going to school, finding out what textbooks I need, getting them, um, finding out where all my classes are, and so on and so forth. Um, I am going to school for, the degree itself is called Web Tech Support, but really it's just computer programming, um, how the programs on computers work, how computers themselves work, um, what each part of the machine does, so on, so forth, all that good stuff, which is probably boring to you guys, but I find it quite interesting. Um, that is kind of me in a nutshell. Oh, food and music. Those are good topics. I love Chinese food. Chinese food is food from the gods, and I will eat Chinese food until I explode. And luckily, when you eat Chinese food, usually in about an hour and a half, you're ready to eat more because it's passed through your system. Um, my favorite Chinese food is General So's chicken, with sweet and sour chicken being a very close second. Um, recently, which I think this is, I think this is more of a Japanese thing, but I've grown to really like sushi. I still don't really like sushi, sushi, sushi <laughs> with like, a uh, raw fish in it, but I do like the imitation crab, and I like, there is some that's served at a Chinese buffet, and it's, um, avocado peanut, and there's another one that's avocado cucumber. I love those a lot. Those are probably my two favorites. Um, and as for music, also, potential future boyfriend, if you are watching, take me to Chinese food on a date, and I will love you a long time. Um, as for music, I listen to a lot of different music, but at the moment, I I will willingly listen to a lot of different music, but at the moment, my music library is very small. Um, I don't often stray from what I like listening to. If I find an artist that I really love, I will follow them and follow them and find out whether or not they're going to be releasing new music, so on and so forth and all that good stuff. Um, my main musical, my main musicians that I listen to um, would have to be Rosine Murphy, um, Emily Autumn, those are probably the main two, Rosine Murphy and Emily Emily. <laughs> I changed her name, Rosine Murphy and em Emily Autumn are probably the top two musicians that I listen to. Um, I also really like um, Utada Hikaru, um, Adele, Kesha, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Lady Gaga, all the stereotypical gay artists. <laughs> um, and really, that's me in a nutshell. Um, I'll kind of do a recap, because this video <laughs> was all over the place, but um, my name is Andrew. I'm 19 years old. I live in Michigan, in the United States, of course, and I do drag as a pastime currently, but I think it would be, if possible, a very exciting career choice. I have a large interest in technology, whether it be video games or computers, and I really fucking love Chinese food. <laughs> so, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed my video this week. I will talk to you all later, and I hope you all have a great week. Bye!